Boston Brown Bread. I have one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of rye flour, one cup of ground cornmeal, finely ground cornmeal. I have a cup of molasses. I have one teaspoon each of sugar, allspice, baking powder, and baking soda. I have two teaspoons of vanilla. I have two cups of buttermilk, and you can make your own by adding uh, two a tablespoon of vinegar to every cup of milk you have. So this is two tablespoons of vinegar and two cups of milk. And I have a cup of raisins. Now the recipe calls for a one poundish size coffee can, which I did not have. And of course you want to find the cans that don't have the BPA in them. I have these cans, which are shorter and rounder than coffee cans, but they'll work. And uh, this is a double recipe. It was supposed to make two coffee cans. These are, I'm not sure how they're going to fill up um, volume-wise. So I have four of them, and they're well buttered. You're going to need aluminum foil. And you can make it on top of the stove, or you can make it in the oven. I'm going to make mine in the oven, steaming it. And I'm going to be using a uh, roasting pan with a rack. And we'll be back to start mixing up the Boston Brown Okay, we're about to mix up our dry ingredients. I'm putting in the all-purpose flour, the rye flour, the cornmeal, salt, baking soda, baking powder, and allspice. And I'm going to be adding the raisins at this time, too. There we go. All right, once we get this well combined, trying to get all the seasonings through all the flour, then we'll be adding our wet ingredients. All right, we're going to milk, mix in another bowl, buttermilk, vanilla, And add the molasses. Don't you love the smell of molasses? Mmm, reminds me of Christmas with molasses cookies. Smells great. You know what goes good with this Boston brown bread or Boston baked beans? Up in New England, they're served together a lot. And they have been since colonial times, and they were probably served together in England before that. All right, we get that nicely combined. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and now we will combine the wet and the dry. Mix those until they're evenly combined. Okay, that looks about right. You don't have to over mix them, just make sure everything looks wet. And now We'll fill our cans. I'm thinking it might work to use this. Yeah, it looks like it'll work, doesn't it? And I'll get my ladle. Use my canner funnel. 
And you're supposed to fill these about two-thirds full. That might be two-thirds. I'm telling you, this smells so good. It smells like I'm baking Christmas cookies. Okay, so it looks like I'll be using three of these cans. They're just about even. Alright, the next thing you do is you cover them tightly with foil because they're going to be steaming to cook. I have a big pot of water boiling on the stove that I'm going to use to fill the roasting pan with water when I put it in the oven. We'll make these kind of tight because you want them to hold the steam in there to cook it. And the oven is to be heating to 325. And it's going to bake a long time. It's, it's going to steam for two hours and 15 minutes. And we'll be back to put that in the oven. My oven has heated to 325. I've got two pots of boiling water on top of the stove. I've put my three cans on a rack in the roasting pan in my stove. And now I'm going to put the boiling water in the pan up to one third the way, one third the way up of the cans. Okay, I don't think that's quite one-third, so I'm going to boil a little more water and we'll be back. Alright, I'm adding more boiling water to bring the level up to about a third. That's about right. And we'll close up the oven and we'll, we'll set the timer for two hours and 15 minutes and then we'll come back and check the meat, the bread. All right, our timer's going off. Now it's time to check the bread and see if it's done. Let me remove a foil. And I should use a toothpick for this, but I don't have one, so I'll be using a butter knife. I think that is done. Looks good. There's the bread. So we'll turn the oven off. We'll take these out, let them cool slightly, and we'll cut into one and let you see what we have. Now, here comes a little scary part. Taking the bread out of the can. I was a little worried because of the ridges in the can that it might not come out easily. Well, the knife, oh, it looks like it will. The knife goes around nice. Let's see if I can encourage it. Ah, there it is. Perfect. 
Okay, there's our brown bread. Maybe I should wait till it cools a little. You know how bread mashes down when it's too warm. But this seems to slice nicely. My husband loves brown bread. He should be home soon. Right, let's see if I can slice a little piece for me to try. It's hot. Mmm. You can really taste the molasses. Mm. You can taste the corn. Very nice brown bread. Yeah, even cool, this will be lovely. So, I think you should give this a try. Boston brown bread. One of my childhood memories. Mm, and it's good.